Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tidbit for Wednesday, July 30th. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, here's uh, the Atlantic, Invest 93L, still watching this, and here it is. And uh, you can see the well-defined circulation here. Still looks like it's been a tropical depression since yesterday to me, but the National Hurricane Center has uh, not liked the fact that the thunderstorms have been weaker since yesterday morning, and they have not designated it yet, probably for that reason alone. It does have a closed circulation, but they like to see organized thunderstorms over it before classifying it. Uh, it's a close call either way, uh, but you can see that despite the circulation, it is having trouble and it's just this stable dry air mass and we talked about this being a problem i thought it would be bertha by the time it uh, gets out of the intertropical convergence zone here and uh, that it would struggle in this area it's struggling even before that down with its support group and if it can't get going down here when it has the support of moisture and spin from the uh, itcz it's going to have an even harder time up here so this may not uh, develop that much and uh, we never expected it to really become more than a moderate tropical storm near the Lesser Antilles uh, but this is really fighting what has been the story of this year and really the last three or four years in the Atlantic where this area here is just so dry and stable and uh, there are various reasons why that could be some of them are still under investigation uh, but this is just the fact that it is very stable in here so these systems do struggle uh, but this will be coming up and if it doesn't strengthen very much uh, this is liable to go right over Puerto Rico now uh, model tracks will shift a little bit south here as the system remains weak uh, that means it's shallower and it will not drive itself up into the ridge as much and it will follow the trade winds perhaps even right over the islands now which will bring some gusty winds rain for them maybe some tropical storm force gusts we'll see if it develops at all on its way towards the islands some models do still develop it but so far the models have been over aggressive with this system so far in its lifetime now you notice how these these patchy gray clouds here these stratocumulus indicate the dry stable air up here in the southwest Atlantic the water is actually warmer it's one of those years where the water is a colder in the deep tropics than it is off the eastern US and you can see that there's a lot more you know popcorn convection going on Faraday cumulus towering up there over the ocean uh, that's indicative of a more unstable environment and once the system gets up in here uh, with those uh, upper lows backing away that we talked about the last couple of days I won't go over it again you can look at previous videos to see that if you like uh, this might be a more favorable environment for this if it survives to get there and this is the Canadian model uh, still showing it uh, strengthening once it comes up here it will recurve likely between the East Coast and Bermuda here so no real threat to land but it will still be interesting to see if this can get going and it becomes something more interesting as it recurves over or under a more favorable environment uh, so we shall see uh, this is the Canadian Ensemble day five showing the trough over the Ohio Valley and the subtropical ridge defined here that clearly provides the alleyway out for this system so it's not really a threat to land at this point uh, don't really see it affecting anyone else besides the Caribbean islands here over the next week or so uh, before moving out to sea um, other than that not much to watch in the tropics except for this wave here behind 93L you gotta watch this one has some spin to it is coming across is rather large and uh, this year it may be uh, the size that matters these small systems will uh, tend to be a little bit more sensitive to dry air and although the big ones can pull in more dry air they can also sometimes deal with it a little bit more effectively by providing themselves a little bit larger of a moisture envelope so we'll have to see uh, these waves they're getting stronger now this time of year as we get into August and then into September uh, that's really when the Cape Verde season starts up and we start seeing these waves come across. So one or two of these, uh, maybe even a couple more than that, uh, may develop in this region sometime during the next two months. So we'll keep an eye on those as they come across. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.